Alright gents, let's do this. It's lunchtime, here I am, aiming the phone high again, as usual. <laughs> Not wearing the right shirt, let's avoid the branding issues. It's not about the quality of the video, it's about the quality of the content in the video. And today I have a pet peeve of mine I'd love to share with you. What's with it? What's with guys saying, well, they don't pay me to do that. I'd do more if they paid me more. Like, <laughs> I'm just, I'm, I'm floored when I hear this. Do you buy stuff without looking at the price tag? Like seriously, do you? Do you even hear yourself? You go to McDonald's and you look at the price tag on the value meal or the combo or whatever the heck it is you're going to poison your body with. And you look at the price tag before you shell out the cash. And you're expecting an employer to pay you more money for something they've never seen you do. You, my friend, have it backwards. Let's unpack this a little bit. Anyone who knows me or has been listening at all knows that I do not believe in a static state. You're either growing or you're dying. There's nothing in between. So, how does this apply to what we're talking about today? You should always be growing because I really don't want you to be dying and I don't think you do either. So you're, you're learning, you're developing, cultivating, gathering new skills so that you can be more valuable. So if you do this on a, a daily basis or at the very least a weekly basis, it stands to reason that you're going to be worth more than you're compensated for. Right? A static entity is a thing that's not moving. A price tag is a static entity. The rate that you're paid per hour is a price tag, just like the McDonald's reference I made a moment ago. So, if you'd like your value to go up and you put the effort in to grow and become more valuable, you're going to have to accept the lag in between your increased value and your current price tag. Does that make sense? Having a bad attitude about it is not going to help you. In fact, if you have a bad attitude about it, you might as well just stop improving. Because having a bad attitude is going to ruin everything. So you hear yourself, even with your inside voice, griping about, well, they don't pay me to do that. That's not my job. I'll do more when they pay me more. <laughs> you have an attitude problem. So think it through. You know that old saying? Put yourself in somebody else's shoes. Walk a mile in somebody else's shoes. There's a reason why that's an old saying. It's some old foundational kind of core wisdom. So put yourself in the other person's shoes and think about how you would feel not being able to see the price tag, being expected to pay out money, or somebody saying to you, I'll do more if you pay me more. It's quite preposterous when you switch sides and think about it. So if you don't have the wherewithal to do that, well, now you know, you've been put on notice. If you want to be of value and respected, these are things that you need to do. So, I hope you find this useful, guys. If you disagree, comment below. I'd love to hear your perspective. If you agree, comment below as well. I'd love to hear from you. Be sure to like and subscribe, guys, because... The algorithm. So, thanks for joining me, guys. I'll see you in the next one.